If you saw Paramount's Transformers Dark of the Moon, you might recall a sea of exploding cars. In this behind the scenes footage, you can see this ain't CGI. You've got blue cars flipping, red cars flipping, even school buses. The device that makes it happen is the pneumatic car flipper. Oscar winner John Fraser helped dream it up for director Michael Bay when he was shooting Armageddon. He loves these. This is Michael Bay's favorite toy. Here's how it works. A car is placed on top of the car flipper. It looks like a floor jack, the difference being it's loaded with high pressure nitrogen. That pushes into a piston, which then throws the car as far as 25 feet. You want to get that air and that cylinder as fast as you can and as much as you can, and that's what makes it work. Three, two, one. That's how you flip the car. Before car flippers, the industry's flipping tool of choice was a cannon. Now Fraser rents his flippers to productions around the globe for a couple hundred bucks a day. This is the most economical way to go to flip a static car. To install a cannon in a car, you know, that's going to cost you 2500 bucks. the producer. He times that by 25 or 30 cars. It gets expensive. And if you really want to get fancy with a flipper, we'll take a cable and we'll wrap it around the car. And then we'll get back, you know, 200 feet and you pull on that high-speed accelerator along with the car flipper and it'll just pull the car. So once you flip the car and it's in rough shape, what do you do with the car? Well, these cars, well, they'll all go back to or they'll go to a, a wrecker or something and, and probably in, in four more years that, would, that may look like a, a bobsled at the next Olympic or something. <laughs>